a VPN on your Fire Stick, Nvidia Shield, Android TV box, or whatever you're using, is not just about hiding your IP. It's about stopping your ISP from snooping, securing sketchy Wi-Fi, and sometimes unlocking content you'd otherwise miss. In previous videos, I showed you why Proton VPN was my number one free VPN pick. Now, since then, Proton VPN have upgraded their free plan, added new free server locations, and they're still taking privacy seriously. In this updated video, I'll quickly show you what's new, walk you through the sign up process, and guide you on how to get it set up on your streaming devices. Let's get into it. Free Proton VPN is still the only free VPN I'm genuinely comfortable recommending for streaming devices. They're based in Switzerland, which has strong privacy protections and sits outside the EU and US jurisdictions, as well as the 14 Eyes Surveillance Alliances. They operate under a strict no logs policy that's been independently audited and their apps are open source and regularly reviewed. So it's not just a trust us bro marketing. Their free plan has no data limit, no time limit, no ads, and it's funded by paid subscriptions, not by selling your data. That's the key difference between Proton and a lot of sketchy, totally free VPNs floating around in the app stores. When I first covered Proton VPN free, you only had a small handful of locations to choose from. Now, as of October the 28th, 2025, Proton VPN has added free servers in five new countries, Mexico, Canada, Switzerland, Norway, and Singapore. Combined with the existing locations, free users can now connect via servers in 10 countries, the United States, the Netherlands, Japan, Romania, Poland, Mexico, Canada, Switzerland, Norway, and Singapore. That means more choice, better speeds because users are spread out over more locations, and more flexibility when you're streaming on devices like Fire Stick, Google TV, Nvidia Shield, or Android TV. Inside the app, this is simple. Look for servers clearly marked as free. If there's a padlock, that one's for paid plans. Now let's quickly walk through how to get a free Proton VPN account. On your phone or computer, open a browser and go to protonvpn.com forward slash free hyphen VPN. Or just go to the Proton VPN website, click Get Proton VPN, and choose the Proton Free Plan. Now, if you see options for VPN Plus or paid bundles, just stick with the clearly labeled free option. Create your Proton account by entering an email address. Click to continue with the free plan. You don't need to add any payment details at all for the free plan. Set a strong password or accept the generated one and save it somewhere safe. Once that's done, your free Proton VPN account is created and ready to use. Now let's get you signed in on your streaming device without suffering through typing a long email and password with your remote. Now on your Fire Stick, Android TV, Google TV, or other device, open your app store and search for Proton VPN. Install the official Proton VPN app and launch it. On first launch, you'll see options to sign in. Proton gives you an easier TV sign-in method using a code. 
you'll see an eight digit code on your TV screen. Now grab your phone or computer, open a browser and go to protonvpn.com forward slash TV. Log in with the Proton account you just created. Enter the eight digit code from your TV screen and confirm. In just a few seconds, your TV app links to your account and logs you in automatically. Back on your streaming device, you can now select any of the free locations and hit connect. If you're on the free plan and don't want to think about it, you can just use Quick Connect and let Proton pick the best free server for you. Once connected, all your streaming traffic from that device is encrypted between you and Proton VPN. This helps prevent your ISP or other third parties from seeing what you're watching. It adds a layer of protection on public or shared connections, and in some cases can help with region locked apps or content catalogs. Now I tested Proton VPN free with Netflix and it successfully accessed the US Netflix library while I was in the UK. It's not a magic unblock everything button, especially on the free plan, but as a privacy layer and a safer way to stream, it does the job. Now let's talk about the elephant in the comments. No one should ever use a free VPN. If you're not paying, you're the product. Now that warning is valid for most of the random free VPNs out there. A lot of so-called free VPNs log your traffic, inject ads, bundle trackers, or have completely opaque ownership. In those cases, yes, don't touch them. Now here's how I look at it and how I'd explain it to you watching. You should assume that a free VPN is unsafe unless three things are true. First, they are fully transparent about how they make money and that model makes sense. With Proton, the free tier is funded by paying users on plus plans. They're very open about that. Now, second, they have a strict no logs policy that has been independently audited, not just claimed on a landing page. Third, their apps and infrastructure have enough public scrutiny like open source clients and external security reviews that people can actually verify what's going on. Proton VPN ticks those boxes. And that's why I'm still happy to recommend their free plan as a safe option and why most other mystery free VPN apps don't make my list. So to recap, Proton VPN free is still my top free choice. They've expanded the free servers to 10 countries. The sign up flow remains clean and simple. The TV code sign in still works and they remain one of the only free VPNs that I trust on my streaming devices. If this updated guide helped you out, hit the thumbs up, drop a comment to let me know which country you're connecting from, and subscribe with notifications so you don't miss my next update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. not just claimed on a landing page. And third, oh, why do I have to look at my fingers?